morning everyone back at the shop doing a little recap from testing went up there had a great time there's more hits than these these are the ones that I kept or weren't improvements or didn't make any changes so I started with the turbo position because there's a lot of people saying that if you put it at 70% the turbo comes in at 70% or if you put it at 100% well here's a run at 80% and a run at 100% and I don't see turbo position doing anything so after that I moved on to the slew rate the slew rate is how much timing you're putting in at what rate so if you pick 4.3 at 50 degrees it takes 1.6 1.16 seconds to get in so on and so forth you add five degrees you get you it gets quicker so those are things you have to calculate it's all about the numbers so then I started messing with the slew rate let's get these out of here as you can see these two runs here I mean you can't get any more identical than that so I don't see what the turbo position does yet maybe they'll firmware update and it'll be an option so I started out with the 19 pin you my slew rate at 4.3 it picked up right to a 32 and then I went from 4.3 to 6.3 and it spun you see 377 to a 374 went to 8.3 still the same 32, 33, 35, went to 8.3 to 10.3, 33, just a little bit quicker. The 60 foot started going away. So I went and I told you I put these Mambas on reactions, much wider. What a big improvement. My 60 foot came right back. As you see, the mile an hour is never changing. I changed to a 20 pinion, you see? Not very much difference in the mile an hour, a little bit in ET, so not really not worth the gain. What I come to learn is I'm over geared. Probably gonna go back to this 18, this 20, only going through the traps at 61 to 62,000. It should spin a lot higher than that. And that's mechanical gearing holding it back. I'm running out of track before the engine can get to where it wants to be. I know it sounds like it's ripping, but it's really over geared. So then I just poured all the timing into it. 65 degrees, get near the end of the day. That thing put up the best numbers. Not only, they're not really killer, killer numbers, but the time of day, which I did, it was like 2.30 in the afternoon. Look at that 60 foot, 3.30. Again, no difference in the mile an hour. That tells me it's over gear, but look at the difference in the ET. Finally got that 2.2, 2.29. I know it's just getting there, but we're there. So that's awesome. Go back to the 18, I'll probably end up lowering my percentages on my first five stages because as soon as I switched from that 19 to the 20, it was dead out of the gate because as you go up in the pinion, it's going to soften the hit and give you mile an hour. If you're not already in the right range, which I was, I thought I wasn't, but now I know turbo position doesn't do nothing yet and I'm learning gearing now. So. Uh, probably get a 25 maybe a 19 out of it with the right pinion in it and I'm probably going to switch over after that to the 3.5 we'll see and uh, this weekend coming up is Easter I hope you all have a great time with your family and everything um, there's nothing going on that I know of this weekend so I don't think I'll be doing anything but hanging out with the wife you all have a great time and uh, enjoy your week and uh Everyone have a great day.